Okay, here's a pretty cool problem that uh, uh, you could probably come up with some, some real-world situations where you may have a, a setting like this. Um, we're going to suggest that our senior class is going to choose a committee to plan the class trip. Um, to qualify as an officer, it's determined that you must be an honor student. However, to be a representative, you may not be an honor student. And the officer positions include president, secretary, and treasurer. Additionally, there will be six representatives selected. If the senior class has eight honor students and 26 other students, how many distinguishable committees could there be? Well, we're, we're going to have to choose three of the eight honor students. So we're going to have to choose three of our eight honor students. And then we're going to have to make a selection uh, from the 26 non-honor students. So then we're going to choose six of 26, we'll call them the other students. And here's a big key. We're not going to choose three of eight honor students or choose six of 26 other students. We're going to choose three of eight honor students and choose six of 26 other students. So uh, let's take a look at the honor students. We're choosing three out of eight, reaching in a hat, picking out three honor students out of eight. I'm choosing a subgroup from a group. This is a combination or a permutation. However, once the three are selected, we are assigning different positions to them. So choosing A, B, C is different than C, B, A. The order matters. So this first selection gets us a permutation of eight length three. Additionally, we're going to choose six of the 26 other students. It says there will be six representatives selected. There's nothing implied in this writing that implies that, that the representatives positions are unique from one another. Of course, the people are unique, but the representative position is not unique. So choosing A, B, C, D, E, F would be the same as choosing F, E, D, C, B, A. So that is a combination. So there we're dealing with combination 26, 6. And what to do with these numbers? This is a sneaky closet problem at this point. It's like I have whatever this number is, this many shirts to choose from, and there's that big key again. We're doing one of these and the other. 26, we're going to choose six students out of those 26, this many pairs of, or this many shirts. So this many pairs of pants, this many shirts, how many outfits. That is classic fundamental multiplication principle. And how would you like to be grinding this guy out? In this case, we end up with 77,357,280 different committees. That would be a tough lottery to win if you had to randomly choose that committee.